Good morning, how are you? My name is Dr. Julian Castillo. I am professor of biochemistry and molecular biology of the University San Antonio of Murcia. And in this uh, presentation, I try to explain you a general overview about the concept of oxidation, pathologies and aging. Three concepts closely related that offer us a very impressive picture about the, the mixture between uh, uh, physiological aging and pathological aging. Uh, in the first uh, slide, we try to start the presentation with the general concept of oxidative stress. Probably uh, 40 years ago, the concept of oxidative stress is a excessively general concept, not related with a specific pathologies, but day by day, more or less about for the 16 years, we, uh, the scientists, uh, developed the idea that the, this concept is also related with the world of pathologies. Related directly with the, the aging, we have uh, different elements that contribute to this oxidative stress. Free radical scavenger, uh, uh, lipoantioxidant, anti-inflammatory compounds, microbiota activity and epigenetic regulation. These tools are probably need to control this oxidative stress. It's an, a special umbrella for these pathologies. This pathology does suppose the prevention of oxidative stress in the term of oxidation, inflammation, immunosuppression, metabolic syndrome, genotoxicity and general pathologies related with aging. The term oxidation is, uh, I, I repeat again, is really a very new uh, concept related with the concept of pathologies. Probably the orthodox uh, medicine don't suppose that the term is important in the development of these pathologies. The history of uh, free radicals opened the concept of oxidative stress. The professor German, Rebecca German in uh, 1962, or develop the general first overview about what is the theory, the general theory of oxidation and specifically uh, relate this concept with aging. This is a mixture of different uncontrolled reaction of radicals that contribute to the problems in the, in the life. Uh, if we uh, suppose a general uh, overview about what is the effort, what is the origin and the effect of this free radical, it's uh, very clear that we have two different situations. A uh, general uh, function of our physiology, uh, the, the general physiological condition, then the, all the elements, all the mechanisms, all the tools that we have in our body uh, perfectly control this uh, process. But if it's impossible to control but by endogenous method these uh, free radical chains offer the possibility to develop pathological situation. In this case, as common in the slide, it's crazy, it's, it's, it's logic, it's crazy, it's a crazy formation of free radical of different types that you, we uh, we will see in the next slides with the different types of radicals. Obviously, uh, these efforts is also related with the environmental. Perhaps in the next slide, it's more clear that uh, in, the, in our environmental situation, we have uh, different elements that uh, uh, develop the, from the generation of free radicals. First is our metabolites. It's typical our mitochondria uh, function suppose the generation of really of high amounts of free radicals, mainly superoxide radical, hydroxyl radical. But also we have uh, environmental with the UV radiation, with the chemical contaminants, with ionizing radiation, also the smoke problems that develop hydroxyl and nitric radicals, uh, contamination, heavy metals, etc., etc. In general, it's a very aggressive in the terms in terms of free radical with our physiology. I repeat again: if our 
endogenous mechanism uh, can be block this radical, we have a health and physiological aging, but with a logical imbalance in different situations, in our work, stress, the typical concept of the stress. Now our life is uh, related directly with the stress, but this stress, this imbalance, supposed the generation probably of pathologies and uh, accelerating aging. Uh, but uh, in this uh, concept, in this relation between oxidation and aging, probably in the 16 years, 16, 18 years, that's what developed a new theory about this uh, aging and oxidation. As you see, uh, this slide repeat part of the term that we present previously. Uh, the protein oxidation after mitochondria function, the endogenous system that try to protect the body, superoxyodismutase, catalase, glutathione peroxidase, etc., in order to inhibit the presence in, the, in our body of this free radical spice. Also, the lipid peroxidation in the second step. And finally, this supposes the imbalance, the disequilibrium between uh, the endogenous defense and free radical production. This is the theory in the 17, in the seven, in the, in the 16, 18 years. But uh, this concept also supposes the modification of different uh, physiological structure, our body structures, in this free radical model. Also, the peroxidation of the membranes, the granulation of the reticulum endoplasmatic, protein fragmentations breaks of the DNA and also different effects of oxidation in, the, in our carbohydrate structure. But in the 19, uh, recently, probably 15, 20 years ago, no more, the, the, the oxidative stress is not only related with the term oxidation, it's related also with the term inflammation. It's a dichotomy structure, it's a global theory, is that both compound, both ideas uh, support this theory. And as you see in the slides, these uh, chronic efforts related with the high oxidative stress developed in the regeneration of radical and free radical contribute to the modification mainly in the immune system. This immune system generates a production of different uh, immuno, uh, immuno elements and produce the generation of marker, biomarkers of inflammation, interleukins, TNF alpha, etc. etc. This uh, the presence of these inf pro-inflammatory agents develop a cycle between free radicals and inflammation compounds. All together suppose this theory, the oxy-inflammatory agent. Obviously, not only we have this uh, global uh, element, in, the, in, the, in our uh, physiological function, the mitochondria is very important in this, and in this uh, uh, oxidation process. But also, we have in our cell function many, many different mechanisms to generate new oxygen reactive spice. First, for example, macrophages. Also, the uh, different force of the anti pro antioxidant enzymes, the inflammatory cascade with cyclooxygenase and lipoxygenase, also all the enzymes related with the vascular function, santinoxidase, hemoglobin, etc., etc., and also the the metabolism of xenobiotic, mainly the function of the, our liver, mainly our liver. For probably in the phase one, suppose the generation of high amount also of free radicals. This is a this general overview. Suppose that uh, uh, if we uh, added to this production of free radicals, ah, conditions without environmental pro-oxidant and pro-inflammatory, it's clear that we have the best environmental media to develop an pathological aging.
This is the idea. Also, our mitochondrial activity, absolutely uh, 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 very important in this process, developed a dysfunctional evolution that contributed this uh, pathology process. Also, uh, in the second step, these mechanisms of this uh, uh, reactivity of oxygenospire suppose the modification, the biochemical modification of different compounds in our body, both lipids and protein and also DNA. The lipids, uh, oxidation of our cofactor as uh, tocopherols, vitamin E, the, the typical peroxidation of membrane lipids, and also modification of the membrane rece receptivity, the receptors, uh, the, the receptors uh, lose the, the capacity to call it molecules. Also in the proteins we develop, uh, these radicals develop the capacity to destroy uh, different TL bonds, the, probably the secondary and thirdly e protein extruder, also, also the production of uh, uh, different modification of uh, proteins with enzymatic activity that destroy this activity, and also finally the modification of DNA, the, the DNA damage that produce a modification in the sugars, in the uh, uh, amino acid, in the, in, in the general structure of DNA. Uh, obviously, uh, this modification probably develop in the future a very undesirable response in the generation of proteins. Also, in the, the, this uh, destroyed the membrane, this destruction of the membrane, supposes also the alteration of the properties of the membrane. The, the, the permeability, the inactivation of the receptor, or the susceptibility to attack of the different and enzymatic, uh, uh, other pro oxidative enzymatic. The, in this permeability change, the suppose the decrease of uh, calcium and other, ion, other ions, and in general, uh, probably the develop the lysis or apoptosis, cellular apoptosis. Also, Proteins in this uh, oxidative stress modify really the, uh, uh, in several cases, the structure of this protein. And we do now perfectly that the activity of this protein is related with the spatial structure, secondary, third structure, and also modify the activity of, of uh, enzyme, uh, protein with enzymatic activity. This is the at least uh, for you, it's possible to evaluate what is the molecular modification of this uh, protein, this activity. Uh, we have a different example of a typical hydroxylation of this anemone, the peroxidation of different amino acid chains, oxidation of the sulfur compounds, sulfur structure, oxidation of uh, amino groves, different interaction in the, this, uh, in the, this uh, amino acid, tryptophano, modification, interconvention, etc., etc. In general, uh, destruction of the, also the um, peptidic uh, uh, structure. Finally, then, then DNA, uh, DNA, DNA oxidation. In this case, we have the, uh, it's possible to happen, this, the, this damage is related with the structure of the base, of the sugar, or the phosphate combination. Uh, at the moment, we check in this, uh, this destruction, evaluating different metabolite compounds in our urine, mainly the, the compound 8-hydroxy-2-deoxyuanosin, but uh, day by day we are studying other, sorry, we are studying other methods to evaluate this DNA. Obviously, the results of this DNA oxidation is a clear modification in the activity of this uh, DNA. The production the, of new proteins with modification in the activity will be logically uh, dangerous for the, for the body. Well, uh, if we consider not at molecular levels, no, a tissue of more physiological tissue damage, is, uh, we have a different uh, aspect that contributed this part, that the, the, the effect of trauma, traumatic efforts, ultrasound, infection, radiation, high concentration of uh, oxygen, hyperoxia, chemical and physical toxins, the excess of exercise, 
uh, is a is a typical commentary that the what is healthy sports or exercise but the excess of exercise will be probably pro-oxidant and pro-inflammatory this is different element that generates tissue damage in this tissue damage efforts obviously the efforts the metabolic or the biochemical efforts is the, also the increase the increase of enzymes that generate also free radicals for example lipoxygenase cyclooxygenase etc and xanthine oxidase also we increase the activation of different elements in the immune system gen with the consequent generation of uh, interleukins and pro-inflammatory biomarkers also the activation of the pro-inflammatory enzymes cyclooxygenase lipoxygenase and also different uh, efforts of free radicals that this uh, in the free metal uh, uh, iron and copper mainly that is related with different reaction pro-oxidant reaction as the harbor base and the fenton mechanism well uh, obviously uh, uh, this uh, this uh, uh, this oxidative uh, concept is not uh, the key element in the in the pathology is a secondary phenomenon that developed the process that can contribute to a uh, quick develop in the pathology uh, probably the this process is uh, is present in the first step or in the in medium or in the last steps in the develop of the different pathologies for this reason it's important to know what is the moment in a specific in one specific pathology what is the moment in the global develop of the pathology uh, that suppose the presence of free radicals this is uh, obviously the study of antioxidant or anti-inflammatory compounds of free radical protection of free radical scavenger is not a solution it's not a, a new strategy to remove the use of the typical orthodox pharmacology it's is a, is a help is a new tool to contribute it together with the traditional pharmacy uh, this is a slide uh, that uh, probably is a special summary of the other previous uh, uh, slides and it's perfectly uh, it's easy to comment the global physiological oxidation as you see in the first step the oxygen is a modified to superoxid radical uh, by different methods and uh, our exogenous production of radicals mitochondrial function or uh, for different environmental sources that produce or generate the oxidation to superoxid radical this superoxid radical immediately in our body open the need the methods uh, to remove the tools to remove this superoxide radical the enzyme superoxide dispertase catalase glutathione peroxidase to generate uh, 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 what the the uh, the production of the modification the demyization of the radical as a per hydrogen peroxide uh, from generation this hydrogen peroxide obviously is not a radical spice but it's toxic obviously our body try again to remove this material by also by different mechanisms several of these mechanisms are related with enzymatic activity mainly with uh, glutathione and catalase enzymes but also uh, uh, peroxide hydrogen produce reaction with uh, metals and also with other radicals the mechanism of fenton uh, that uh, uh, generates the uh, production of a uh, hydroxyl radical and also the harbor base mechanism is the interaction between peroxide hydrogen and superoxyl radical also generates with generators uh, hydroxyl radical hydroxyl radical is probably the more aggressive radical in this uh, uh, global chains and uh, absolutely very difficult to block this radical without cell life of uh, 10 uh, at, uh, uh, minus seven uh, seconds the shell life and suppose immediately the lipo the la, the uh, lipid peroxidation in the membrane uh, structure uh, this lipid peroxidation suppose the destroy of the 
first uh, uh, stability in the membranes and the cells and contributed with two chains. One chain is the generation of toxic spots, new radical, new peroxy radicals that directly and the cytoplasm go to the ADN structure with the nucleus generating uh, geno direct genotoxicity. In the other chains is the cascade of arachidonic acid. Arachidonic acid that supports the global inflammation process with uh, the first step, the production of uh, prostaglandin and finally with the, the present with the activity of liposyxin and cyclosyxinase enzymes, the generation of leukotriene and thromboxanes. Very uh, obviously all these uh, compounds have different physiological activities but in high amounts, in high concentration, suppose uh, the contribution to a, the cycle, the cycle inflammation oxidation that we comment previously uh, as the key point in the global oxidative stress and aging. This is different uh, list of a list of different pathologies that's uh, very important pathologies that included different oxidative and inflammatory stress. Uh, the chronic, diabetes, all the aspects related with the metabolic syndrome, globally considered, Parkinson and Alzheimer. It's very absolutely very important the equilibrium between inflammation and oxidation in general. Uh, all the cardiovascular problems, very important, this, uh, this uh, oxidative uh, global stress. And finally, obviously, as a resume, a global resume of all the pathology aging. Well, uh, in this situation, it's very important to consider directly the aging concept. Probably one of the best uh, scientific review in the last year is, uh, is published in the review in the paper Cell, a very prestigious uh, review, scientific review, but, uh, with the name The Hallmark of Aging. Uh, signed by the long list of very important scientists. Uh, this, uh, in this uh, review, uh, the, the director, the, Mar the, 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 the director of this journal, the Professor Lopez Latin in the University of Oviedo, really is a very positive research. Okay, uh, comment that the aging process. Uh, uh, is uh, based mainly in nine, nine uh, uh, elements that generates this process. These elements, these elements is related with the genoma stability, with the telomeres uh, situation, uh, with the epigenetic alteration, the proteasome variation, the metabolic function, mitochondrial function, etc. This nine point. But, but, in these nine points, uh, really, uh, there is reference to oxidative stress, or all these nine points are not related with oxidative stress. Yes, in this uh, review, in this paper, the scientists present different mechanisms for each of uh, one of these nine uh, uh, key uh, elements in the aging process. And in seven, in seven of these nine points, uh, is uh, important oxidative stress steps. In the slides that you see, for example, in the DNA lesions, in the protein dysfunction, in general, the concept oxidative stress, radical, uh, mainly oxygen radical space, and the mixture between the cycle between oxidation and inflammation uh, occurs as very, very important key element. Uh, we try, in this moment, we try to understand what is this aggression, what is the mechanism to aggression uh, of uh, our environmental in the process of uh, aging, particularly related when aging, because, for example, the first, uh, the first uh, uh, impression uh, when you like to evaluate the uh, aging process of one uh, uh, person is the appearance, the appearance of this person, the external appearance, the skin appearance. As uh, you see in the slide, it's very 
simply to see the picture of the men with the brown skin working uh, 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 with a very clear sun attack and the white face of the lady that in the medieval age probably is, a, is a, in the castle and not in the, in the country. This is the first element, UV radiation. UV radiation is, a, is the mechanism, it's not ionizing radiation, but the mechanism to generate a free radical, the aggression, the develop of uh, inflammation chains by the destruction of membrane, ac arachidonic acid production, etc., etc. It's uh, absolutely very important. This is the first step that. Uh, uh, that uh, suppose that the oxidative aggression begin, began uh, through uh, our environmental condition. But uh, this environmental condition generates the, uh, the inflammatory cascade and the free radical production that we comment in previous slides with the generation of prostaglandin, thromboxane, leukotriene, etc. But don't finish here. Continue this dysfunctionality of membranes suppose the dysfunction of vascular endothelium. The vascular endothelial system suppose the, the degradation of our cardiovascular activity, the homeostasis of our cardiovascular activity, uh, generating the destruction of the endothelial cells that probably reduce the production of nitric oxide to inhibit the nitric oxidase synthase. Uh, inhibition of different uh, gene expression, the, 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 the vasodilatation is also dysfunctional, the generation of inflammatory answer, and in general the microscopic effects is hypertension and also arteriosclerosis. In this last, uh, in this last idea, arteriosclerosis is very important, the, the, the global actuation of the oxidation and inflammation. But don't finish here, and I'm sorry for the student because part of this slide is in Spanish, but I suppose that for you it's relatively easy to understand the second language in the world. Uh, in these final steps is the degradation of our brain function. Finally, the, bio, the, the, the brain function is clear. The mechanism, the oxidative mechanism in, the, in our brain function is very aggressive because uh, it's important to remember that uh, that uh, the metabolism in the brain is only using uh, glucose and the, the, the activity, the endogenous activity of uh, protection enzymes, superoxidismotase, glutatose and catalase are really very poor. In this case it's, import it's important to consider that we need tools to preserve the brain stability, the brain function. Obviously we have different options the neurogenesis uh, after neuronal death by different methods, the development of plasticity, of the neuronal plasticity, this is very, very important, and mainly this is uh, our lifestyle, this is related with our lifestyle. And finally, perhaps we consider the possibility to use different antioxidant compounds to obtain uh, uh, mechanism, a mechanism, new tool to block this uh, uh, this negative uh, development. Uh, finally, cellular, the DNA damage that we comment previously with the destroy uh, of, this, uh, of this structure. As you see in the slide, in the left, in the right uh, part of the slide, you see the new mechanism to evaluate this destroy using the micronucleus test. It's uh, clear that you see in the, in the picture a very a small part of the DNA that is the results of the effect of the oxidation. Okay, but also the oxidation the, in, the, in the, the chains of free radical, the chains of the global oxidation is related also with the production of carcinogenesis uh, for, by different routes. The presence of free radicals is also clear in the development of uh, carcinogenesis. For uh, in the one step, probably for the presence of in our life of pro, pro carcinogen compounds. Mainly, we have uh, our our job, our environmental intake uh, compounds that is probably uh, pro carcinogenic. And in this case, it's very important our metabolic uh, 
the behavior, the phase one or phase two efforts in, the, in our liver. Uh, also, that also our phase one in the liver produce free radicals with procarcinogenic properties, and we need a global equilibrium in this function. In general, other steps of free radi or the presence of radicals in the in, in all the steps of proliferation cells, and mainly probably in the in the tumor progression, mainly in the metastasis, because one of the more recent uh, mechanisms discovered in the recent publications about the metastasis mechanism, uh, this metastasis mechanism is related with the, uh, or also a cycle between. Uh, pro-oxidant spies and also inflammatory agents. Well, after this uh, molecular uh, evaluation of the, this uh, pathway related with the global psych, it is very important that we need to consider what is the, our target. Is, is possible to work in the, in the global idea to to block the effect of these free radicals? Because it's clear that the development of uh, uh, pathologies through the aging process is very important in all the sense. Consequences in the uh, social, uh, related with economical, medical, and, and also it's related with, the, with the, all the aspects in, in our health system. It's clear that we need to develop new strategies in the prevention mainly in the, in the different uh, system that we, I commented previously, cardiovascular, respiration, osteoarticular, nervous, etc. Uh, also, mainly the most important idea is to, to avoid to remove the, the use of, by, uh, of uh, uh, tens of medicaments, of uh, the, the concept of polypharmacy. Okay? In this case, it's very, very important, the first step, what is the, uh, the, the method to approach? N no with the pharmaceutical products, because it's not clear the effect of pharmaceutical products uh, against these oxidative stress. In this case, it's important the, 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 the potential interaction between the nutrition and the hygiene process. But no, perhaps not the global nutrition, but in general the nutrition is the first step to consider the, uh, the use of active compounds present in our nutrition balance to obtain a good effort in the prevention. I'm sorry, perhaps uh, at the moment, uh, re really I, I apologize for this very stress uh, process. And I try to recover your body about this stress using the develop the, the concept of the new antioxidants or new compound that probably can be protected at is in this process. Effectively, the science, the same paper that uh, I commented previously, proposed different solutions. These solutions are related in it's uh, one of the nine uh, points, with uh, obviously to as you see with the removal that sends the older cells, also the stem cells new therapies, the anti-inflammatory drugs, because the concept of inflammation, uh, we uh, see that is very important in this subject. Elimination of damaged cell, to remove damaged cell, the control of the telomerase enzymes, the preservation to protect the telomerase, also the use of epigenetic, compounds, epigenetic compounds that act not only to modify the epigenetic profile, also to use the use of compounds that probably has an epigenetic activity in the mind endogenous protective enzymes. Also uh, the modification of chabron, different enzymes, and finally uh, you see the, well, also mitochondria function control, and mainly the nutrition intervention, dietary intervention. Please remember that in seven of these elements, the presence of oxidative stress is important. Okay, uh, we have the main, the simply tool, no pharmacology, is the nutrition. Nutrition really, really may be a real preventive tool, really. Okay, 
uh, in the world there are different uh, theories, different concepts, they use the Mediterranean diet, the reference to the more longevity in countries as Japan, as Spain, uh, related probably with the, not only with the uh, lifestyle, also with the nutrition profile, with a global mixture between uh, uh, vegetable, fruits, uh, fish, small quantities of the specific meat, etc. etc. But obviously it's clear that now uh, it's absolutely open the window for many many different information about what is the possibility uh, of uh, many many different foods to contribute to the control of oxidative stress. You know uh, very very famous uh, data about the high antioxidant potency of cocoa extract, also for coffee, coffee the chlorogenic acid, cocoa with the presence of flavonoids, uh, catechins and, and other compounds, the global use of different juice uh, with uh, high amounts of, cat for, of vitamins, vitamins the B complex, C, D, in general antioxidant, uh, great seed, green tea, etc, etc, etc. Many, many different compounds present in the diet. But uh, obviously uh, the concept supposed not only a qualitative concept, we need to establish a real quantitative relation between the intake of this compound in the diet with the effect in our physiology. For the reason I propose you an exam, a question, a very important question, a very simple question. Uh, if we really the global you see in the slides, in the right, food elements, fish, oils, vitamins, also the wine with high amounts of tannins, polyphenols, etc. Uh, in the left, you see capsules, antioxidants. Okay, what is your answer? Really, we eat uh, something? We do eat only only food. It's better supplement a new. Uh, probably the better is a mixture between a good lifestyle, good uh, nutrition profile, and also perhaps a specific supplement in a specific case. Really, I don't know. I don't have the global answer. Perhaps it's better that we uh, use the opinion, the first opinion. We try to evaluate the first opinion of the. Uh, two of the very famous, the most important experts in the study uh, of the aging process, the Professor Olhansky and the Professor Heiflick, that uh, they uh, make a study in, uh, when in the start of this uh, century, in 2002, uh, that they uh, present a decalogue of uh, different uh, very very interesting ideas about this uh, uh, this process, the aging process in this. Uh, I try to to read it slowly because uh, this is interesting. Uh, in the first step, uh, uh, the always is important the discussion. What is the hypothetical mort immortality? Our life will be one more than one hundred years, two hundred years, etc. Uh, etc. Et you know, there are mathematical models that develop the idea that what is the, our, probably our maximum uh, uh, life. Several mathematical models suppose that more than 140, 160, but this is not the issue. This scientist comment that this, uh, this uh, issue need to be studied outside this scientific concept. Also, also in this case, it is very important to establish what is the true biological age in the person. This is very important because it's not the same to, to people with a 60 year probably has different biological age. Obviously for this you need to evaluate different functions, different biomarkers, different status because the development of pathologies will be different. Uh, also, please, no hormone administration. This is very important. Other concept, hypocalorie diets. It is a concept very, very useful. Uh, many, many different papers, many, many different studies about the 
re uh, caloric requirements in the human life and with, uh, with different sp animal spice, they develop or population, they develop that the idea that hypocaloric suppose less generation of free radicals, less generation of uh, mitochondrial activity, etc. etc. This is not clear. No, no clear. And also, really, uh, no shows significant effect in our quality of life. I mark in red the point six and seven because it's related with our concept of uh, oxidative stress. Initially, in 2002, I repeat, no is no is the medicine with real antioxidant effect, anti-aging effect. This is clear. Orthodox medicine, orthodox pharmacology, don't suppose tools against oxidative stress and real anti-aging efforts. Clear. Second, the other side. Supplement. Supplement of the theoretical compound antioxidant, probably uh, related with food activists. Probably is compounds related with the food that we uh, common in the previous slides. Flavonoids, chlorogenic acid, vitamins, lipids, terpenoids, etc. etc. They comment that at the moment, this compound not shows a direct effort in aging. Perhaps uh, in vitro or perhaps in vivo in a specific uh, uh, aspect or different oxidation process, but not globally, not globally against aging. Obviously, geriatric medicine also introduces no combat aging. The development of genetic therapies is at the moment is an in, in a process in developed. The replacement of organs, etc. etc. Is that I don't know. Is a distant possibility, perhaps, but I don't know. And finally, again in red color, the healthy lifestyle. This is very important. Obviously, it's not easy to quantify what is the efforts in the to quantify the efforts of the different lifestyle. You need to long-term studies of this uh, of this concept, but this is very important. Okay, but uh, 14 years later, in 2016, 2017, will be possible to, with the scientific responsibility, at least try to develop supplements of antioxidants concept that uh, can be helped in this aging process? This is the question. Okay. No, sorry. It's a mistake on the bottom. Uh, but if we, uh, we need to develop uh, in our brain a new idea, because the aging, perhaps the problem in the past, is the consideration that we need to study or we need to attack uh, the different symptoms of the aging process individually. Uh, we need to consider that the aging process is absolutely similar to the most modern concept of metabolic syndrome, for example. Uh, 20 years ago, or lesser, 15 years ago, the medicine, the orthodox medicine, as to the diabetes, lipo problem, hyperlipidemia, cardiovascular, separately, individually, no collectively. After the concept, they developed the, the concept of the metabolic syndrome, the idea to study globally the development of pathologies opened the door to new ideas, to new, new overview of this, uh, I, of this uh, problem of the pathological aging. We have metabolic disorders, inflammatory process, also psychological process. Also the regulation of the, our microbioma function all together as the in, in, in the slide is clear, there's a five, five key points. It's oxidative stress, metabolic stress, microbioma stress, psychologic stress, and inflammatory stress. It's a global stress. Perhaps this is the key to develop correctly compounds, new compounds. Obviously, these five elements suppose the developed globally of many, many different of pathologies, many, many different pathologies. 
obesity, diabetes, asthma infection, cardiovascular pathologies, brain pathologies, etc. Please use this idea to develop this, uh, uh, this approach in the block of the pathological aging. In the past, until now, the R&D groups in the universities, in the companies, developed the idea that there's one pathology, one target, one compound. Unicity. This is not clear. One ingredient, one compound for oxidative stress. One ingredient for metabolic stress. One ingredient for microbioma problems, etc., etc. But the problem is that aging supposes the generation of chronic pathologies. There's no temporary pathology, it's an evolution of chronic system. For this reason, we need to develop a multifactorial approach. This is the key, the really key. It's not easy, but it's the really key. In this case, the new generation of compounds uh, is possible to use the term functional, or I don't know, or food supplement, or in general, anti aging compound, I don't know, but the idea is to block, to block. Uh, the, 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 uh, the simply idea that it's one compound, one target, one pathology. No, it's a global mixture, a global blend, a global blend, obviously in quantitative uh, correct proportions, to, uh, in, to, to do the incidence in the global concept of the aging process. It's a multifactorial approach uh, for this. Perhaps if we change our mentality, if we try to develop uh, these uh, global blends with different activists. It's not the intention, it's not my intention in this, uh, in this presentation to comment specific names of these compounds, but probably the idea is very relatively very simply. You comment obesity, it, as you see in the slides, you have for example five, six pathologies, obesity, metabolic syndrome, Related also with metabolic, metabolic, spore, Alzheimer, it's absolutely different. The, the, the use of compounds, obviously, of uh, this supposed interactions, this supposed the necessary metabolic studies, the necessary bioavailability bio uh, studies, also metabolic uh, uh, efficacy, etc., etc. It's not easy, but probably is the only opportunity, the only real true uh, tool to develop a strategy against the global development of aging, pathological aging. Finally, I try to comment you uh, using the, if you remember, the global slide that present the global oxidative stress. What is the, the, the elements that you need to contribute in this global oxidative inflammatory uh, change or cycle? And the first, you have a, a global cycle and you have in the right elements you high radical scavenger, you have epigenetic uh, factors or epigenetic uh, compounds, pro-epigenetic compounds, lipoantioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. Okay, we need to use simultaneously these tools. In the first step, the use of radical, of this radical, contribute to the block, the first radical, superoxyodismute, so, pardon, uh, sorry, uh, the, the superoxyl radical, etc., etc. In the second step, you need to use together uh, uh, free radical scavenger, water syllable, with lipoantioxidant. This is the first step to block the develop of the ge high generation of uh, superoxid radicals, the primary radicals. Is we close the door to this global oxidation chain. But obviously, probably will be necessary the use of the second step, the, the use of uh, the epigenetic compounds. Prob because not always is possible to block this chain of radical using external agents. We need to contribute it endogenously with the activation via epigenetic uh, actions, the, the expression of superoxyl, mainly perhaps superoxyodismutase. Also, we need to evaluate, we need to evaluate the possibility to that these uh, uh, tools don't block 
enough, don't blow it enoughly, the uh, global oxidation chains. In this case, we need to protect the membrane cells. The use of against of lipo, all the other lipo antioxidant mechanistically will be very important. Uh, we obtain a specific lipo peroxidant activity, lipo to block the specific lipo peroxidant activity. But finally, this uh, this uh, activity suppose the in the final steps the addition of anti-inflammatory activity, the anti-inflammatory drugs or compounds or uh, that block the cycle generated by cascade of arachidonic acid, the generation of uh, high amounts of post prostaglandin, thromboxane, leukotrienes, via lipo uh, cyclooxygenase and lipooxygenase. Globally, this is the mechanism to try to block all the cyclic oxidation, inflammation in the aging process. Obviously, it's not easy to develop what is these compounds. Many, many different compounds there is in the market, there is in the science. Markets uh, with uh, antioxidant capacity, mainly in vitro, you need to develop the studies in vivo according to the, according to the molecular structure, uh, via biochemistry activity, uh, the use of compound with sta good, good stability, good bioavailability, less toxicity, etc. etc. We open the door to a new global study of this process. But for me, uh, and really for the, for the new studies in, related with the aging development, is very important to consider this global idea. It's similar to the, the cell paper that comment that the aging process is not only one mechanism, it's not only one effort, it's not only one key point, the elements, the tools to block this is also a global consideration, it's a multifactorial uh, strategy to block this. Uh, and finally, uh, for me it's uh, perhaps very important to close the presentation with a phrase. Uh, obviously my relation is more with the, the world of the orthodox pharmaceutical activity, but it's very important in this uh, new proposal and the use of uh, compounds related with the food area, with the food profile, activated from the plants, botanicals, etc., etc., uh, the nutrition and the supplements uh, uh, components. Please, uh, we need to do this uh, with responsibility, with science. Uh, the fumes, the miracle products, the potions, the terminal pills, really is, uh, is a concept absolutely crazy and uh, the scientists people don't, don't uh, uh, like to do this. this please uh, science, science and conscience. This is very very important in this study. Thanks for your attention and uh, we finish uh, in this case the presentation and I, I hope that this is interesting for you. Thanks.